Hey YouTube, this is Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Today we're going to cook some steak in our wood-fired oven. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is get this oven as hot as possible. So use lots of wood. I put on about five or six logs. They burned down pretty good. And my goal here was to achieve 900 degrees. And I think we got pretty close. We've got a couple of juicy ribeyes. I've got my seasoning and our cast iron griddle. So seasoning up our steaks, we've got some Montreal seasoning and the famous Costco garlic seasoning. I'm using both. We want to get both sides nice and even and we're not going to have the seasoning on there for too long so I don't think you can use too much. So now we're going to slide our griddle in and we're going to get it nice and hot. It's only going to take a few minutes and we'll be ready to cook. I let these steaks go for about 10 minutes with the seasoning on it. Our griddle's nice and hot and sizzle. We'll slide it in there. So this tool I got from another manufacturing company and it's just a tool to move the wood around. So every minute and a half, we're gonna flip these steaks. So you can see I've got the nice grill marks and I'm gonna attempt to flip it the other way to get the nice hash marks. We're gonna go a full six minutes. Here we are, pulling them out. Nice and juicy. Look at that sizzle. So now really quickly, we're gonna wrap these babies in foil and let them rest for maybe about 10, 15 minutes. The steaks are still gonna cook and hopefully they'll turn out nice and juicy, medium to maybe medium rare. Here's the final test, cutting them open. And that's our steak knife. I'm actually switching over here in a minute to a butter knife. Here's our butter knife, cutting out a nice little piece in the middle. And these steaks were so tender and juicy, they were delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and also to check out our website at brickandflame.com. And if you want one of these ovens, I highly recommend it. We'll see you next time.